Hello everyone. Today uh, at Science Academy, we are going to learn about information gathering. Uh, this video will be a prequel, uh, sequel of our previous video, which was information gathering. So uh, today we will be covering some of the tools that we are going to use. Uh, so for for the first tool, uh, it will be AMAS. So AMAS, uh, it is an open source tool. It comes pre-installed in Kali Linux, and uh, you know. AMAS can uh, collect valuable data for penetration testing and vulnerability assessments. So you can do information gathering and uh, using AMAS and you can collect some, uh, you know, some of the uh, information that will help you uh, while performing uh, your penetration testing. So yes, uh, let's see a practical example of how we can use AMAS. So right now I am on my uh, Kali Linux terminal. I will be typing uh, mas hyphen h to open the help menu. So there are two uh, methods of using mas. One is the mas intel, and the second one is mas enum. So let's let's uh, try a uh, mas enum. So mas enum hyphen h to open the help menu of enum. Okay, so we can do uh, active information gathering using uh, enum mode. So let's 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 do it. Let me clear my screen. So AMAS uh, enum. So then I want the active method. And the domain which I will be using will be uh, oneweb.com. Now oneweb.com itself it is a uh, you know vulnerable web application it is specially made for for penetration testing so that you guys can practice on one map so this uh, uh, we will be testing on this domain okay. let me hit enter now let's wait uh, let's wait for the results uh, uh, AMAS will be enumerating all the domain name servers all the naming servers all the IP addresses that are related to oneweb.com so let's wait so uh, as you can see guys now uh, amas has actually founded uh, the naming servers of uh, oneweb.com that are related to oneweb.com and some of the uh, ip addresses that are also related to oneweb.com okay. so we can enumerate for naming servers domain name servers and you know the ip addresses that are uh, related to our target and who is managing our target it is amazon zero to server amazon.com okay let me stop this scan uh, right here itself because yeah i just wanted to demonstrate you how we can use this tool now for the second tool uh, i think uh, our second tool will be um, let me see so our second tool will be subfinder now subfinder is fast open source subdomain discovery tool used in penetration testing and reconnaissance so our motive of using subfinder will be to identify some of the subdomains that are uh, that belongs to our target that can be related to api any public data set that we can find and we can access it and we can you know maybe try to bypass it or try to find any kind of vulnerability in it so let's let's see a practical example of uh, subfinder how we can use it so i will be typing subfinder hyphen h to open the help menu and there are uh, plenty of methods uh, by providing all all of these flags you can use subfinder but i will be using uh, subfinder in a basic format by providing the domain name using hyphen d flag let me scroll down let me clear the screen. Now I will be typing subfinder hyphen D for domain and the domain will be oneweb itself. Oneweb.com. Let's see how many subdomains uh, subfinder can actually uh, enumerate and find out. Now let's let's wait for the results. Uh, now uh, as we can see uh, subfinder has found so many subdomains now our job will be to uh, check whether these all of these subdomains are active alive or not 
so for that i will be opening my browser i will be going to http status.io i will be pasting all the subdomains which we have found here and let's uh, try to check the status of all of these uh, subdomains let's see let's wait for the response okay so immediately uh, we got the response and let's check this rest.oneweb.com uh, api so see uh, so this is an uh, this is a vulnerable rest uh, rest api but you guys can also find some of these apis while performing your penetration testing and what all information we are able to gather from here for example technologies uh, oneweb is using ubuntu 18 uh, as as an operating system uh, in their backend server, they are also using Apache. PHP version is 7.1. They are using MySQL for the database management, and uh, you know some uh, supported formats are JSON, XML, JSON Web Token, Swagger, Open API, Postman, Fiddler. So yes, you guys can actually uh, find out uh, many valuable information about your target. Uh, while while performing a subdomain reconnaissance using subfinder and there are similar tools like subfinder there are so many tools just like subfinder now so the third tool which we are going to use will be dersearch now dersearch is a powerful open source tool for brute forcing directories and files on web servers and dersearch is actually written in python and it helps ethical hackers and penetration testers to discover hidden or unprotected resources by recursively scanning URL paths. So Dersearch will try to find out about uh, any directory that should not be publicly available and maybe we can uh, do some kind of information gathering from that directory. It can be a password, username, password directory. It can be an admin environment related directory. So let's see how uh, we can use uh, use the search, you know, uh, practically. Let me clear my screen first. So I will be typing the search hyphen H to open the help menu. Okay, so there are so many methods, so many flags that you guys can use to, to you know, perform your uh, information gathering and enumeration task using the search. Now uh, I will be using the hyphen u to mention the URL. So let me let me clear the screen. Let me type uh, the search hyphen u, and uh, I will be using one of the subdomains which we uh, which we found you know uh, when we were fire trying to find about the subdomains using subfinder. So this will be uh, HTTP. Uh, colon forward dash forward slash test php uh, dot web, uh, dot com so let me hit enter and let's let's wait for the result i haven't provided any kind of thread or any extra tag so now let's wait uh, now, uh, as you can see, we have got the result uh, by performing our uh, information gathering reconnaissance using the search. Now, there are some uh, directories that we can uh, maybe try to, you know, uh, explore, and maybe we can find some uh, vulnerable, some you know, uh, information that we can uh, check while performing vulnerability assessment. So, test. Uh, php uh, and no, 404.php let's see uh, what error we can get so yeah immediately we can see uh, we get nginx version 1.19.0 uh, and this information can be uh, very crucial while performing a penetration testing immediately i will start looking for a you know common vulnerability exposure or uh, some kind of exploit related to nginx 1.19.0 uh, version now let's let's uh, let's see some some other uh, you know some other directories that we were able to find. So this is the admin one. Okay, so see immediately uh, we are able to find uh, an admin directory and it has a create SQL uh, you know directory present in it. So this itself will be a vulnerability that admin panel is publicly available and there, there are some content available uh, in admin panel itself. So 
it can help you know and we can see that dot uh, sql extension is mentioned that means that the client or the target is using mysql or postgres sql something related to sql to manage the database so we can uh, you know gather information about database enumeration from by by doing information gathering itself okay so so here here was an example of how you guys can use dir search to find some uh, publicly available domains now we also have some image directory some index some zip files you know some login pages as well so yeah you guys can also use dir search uh, for your information gathering now let's see what tool we have on uh, on our list uh, what next tool we have on our list now the fourth tool that we have on our list is wireshark let's uh, let's open uh, you know uh, let me let me give you an overview first uh, wireshark is an open source tool it is widely used by soc analyst uh, to analyze and capture you know network uh, packets so that they can you know analyze all the network packets uh, incoming and outgoing it can it can also be used uh, you know to identify the ip addresses like source ip and destination ip address so uh, let's let's see how we can use this for information gathering i will just type wireshark on my terminal and let me uh, maximize the screen and i will be listening on eth uh, 0 uh, let me first open the browser as, uh, browser itself and because i will be uh, i i am actually trying to find out the ip addresses which are related to our target which is vulnerable.com and yeah just one web will be fine so yeah we can use wireshark to find ip addresses as well related to our target so let me just start wireshark and let me come here let me open oneweb.com and let's let's wait till uh, till wireshark captures all the packets related to domain name and then i am going to stop wireshark and uh, we will be analyzing the you know all the uh, network packets We'll try to find out the IP addresses as well. Okay, let me stop here. And now I will be applying uh, the filter uh, called as DNS. So I will be hitting enter. So let's let's see uh, if you know we are able to find any IP addresses. So my query uh, query is this, you know, www.oneweb.com. But I actually am interested in the answer that uh, I will be receiving from the server end. Now yes, I can uh, identify the naming server which is eurodns.com. Now I actually want to know the answer and the IP addresses that are present in it. So this is the answer that we received back from a target that I can actually find this domain www.oneweb.com at this IP address. So sometimes you guys can find some more IP addresses related to uh, your target and you know uh, right now we are only getting one IP address uh, related to our you know target. So we can use a Wireshark as well for information gathering to find out the IP addresses related to our target itself. And yeah, that was it uh, for Wireshark. So now uh, let's let's uh, let me let me clear my screen and let's move for, further uh, to our fifth fifth and the last tool uh, on our list. Now, uh, so the fifth tool on our list will be NeepVI and uh, NeepVI is also a fast and open source vulnerability scanner that uh, uses customi uh, customizable uh, YAML templates to identify security issues in system applications and API and we can also use NeepVI tool uh, to find uh, you know to for information gathering for automating us uh, vulnerability scans. Now uh, let's see how we can use NeepVI uh, in practical way. 
so i am right now in my kali uh, kali terminal and i will be typing a new pi hyphen h to open the help menu of it now uh, there are multiple flags multiple methods of using this tool uh, which you guys can do uh, headless mode okay then you also have some rate limit uh, which you can implement so there there are uh, so many methods so many flags of using this tool now i will be using it in a basic uh, basic uh, you know uh, way uh, which will be by providing the url by using hyphen new flag and let me let me come down to my screen let me clear my screen so uh, new pi hyphen new and yeah i will be testing for test php dot world web dot com and let me hit enter now what nuclei will do nuclei will uh, be using the templates that comes pre installed and uh, nuclei will try to use those templates to find any vulnerability or to to uh, identify you know uh, servers ip addresses any uh, web application firewall related to our target so now let's let's wait uh, for a while so that uh, for the results uh, now as we can see we have got the results from nuki and the information that we are able to gather is that the web application is behind a firewall which is nginx generic and there are some security headers missing like cross origin policy uh, you know some uh, x frame options are missing uh strict transport security which is you know which 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 you will use for https so the website is actually uh you know hosted on http so all these things are missing then uh, we are also able to identify that the tag which uh one web used to create their web application is dreamweaver dreamweaver uh actually supports html css javascript php and dreamweaver also belongs to adobe and then uh, we were also able to uh, detect you know that the server is nginx and because nginx generic web so yeah and the programming languages which uh, programming language which they are using in backend is php uh, we can also find out that uh, the version of nginx server which is 1.190 and you know we can also find out that the php uh, language version is 5.6.40 so yes so uh, this is how we can use nuclei tool for information gathering now uh, let's uh, let's move further so this was it guys and if you like the video you can give us a thumbs up if you have any kind of doubts if you guys want to add something you can comment down you guys can share this video with your friends and family and uh, you guys can also subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching until next time